What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope all you're having a great day so far today. Getting into this episode of GH, um, first of all, it is hotter than the devil's toenails right now. <laughs> it is so damn hot today. Oh, my God. Um, so, anyway. I cannot believe how gross and nasty Finn was. Like, this fool sitting here reading a book on worms and termites. Like, worms in the human body or something, whatever the hell that book is. While eating a sandwich? That is gross. Like, that shit reminded me of when Kevin was sitting in his office having lunch, casually having lunch. While Faison's brain, his literal brain, was sitting on his desk. I'm like, that is so gross. Like, how do you eat and have an appetite with that? Like, that shit was just, ugh. Like, it just made me want, like, how can you read that and casually eat a sandwich? <laughs> that is nasty. Um, so anyway, I was so irritated that Terry interrupted that conversation between them because she got to sit there talking about, oh, you got to get answers from him and stuff. Uh, she was about to get answers from Finn until you interrupted the conversation, Terry. I'm just saying she was about to get some, some info. I honestly don't want to see Liz and Finn together. I, I don't. I just, I don't know what it is, but I just don't see them as a romantic couple. It gives me friend vibes. Like, that's what I get. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, I definitely feel like Finn wants more with her. Because, like he said, it's a little bit more complicated. What he wants is more complicated. But I definitely feel like he doesn't want a friendship with her. I feel like he wants more. And it was funny how Tracy tried to put it out there like, you know... It's a disaster waiting to happen between them. And it's like, you have to ask the question. Do you want Finn? I mean, does Finn want Liz as his girl, like his lady? Because that's going to have ramifications too with uh, Violet. You know what I'm saying? Because her mother already just, you know, disappeared on her or whatever. So, you know, there's no guarantee that Finn and Liz are going to be together. And she could lose an aunt just like she lost a mom. So I get it, you know. It's a lot of risk involved in them becoming a couple, especially for Violet's sake. It's a lot, you know, and she got boys, too. So that pull that back and forth between them, they're going to have to decide, like, is it worth it? You know, because they could be repeating a disastrous relationship all over again. And Finn, I just feel like Finn don't know boundaries when it comes to Liz. Cause I remember so many times Liz repeatedly told him, let me handle this on my own. Let me do this. And he kept ignoring her wishes. Like, that's what irritated me when they were a couple. So, I don't want to see them regurgitate that again. You know what? I was shocked, though, moving on from that. But I was shocked with Tracy. Like, Tracy asked Kentucky Fry Martin to be the acting CEO of ELQ. I was shocked that she didn't take that position. I'm like, Tracy, what are you doing? Like, what are you up to? You know what I mean? Like, because with Valentin out of commission, him being in, you know, out of the country and Ned walking around thinking he Eddie Main, there's nobody really to run the company. And Michael is bu busy with Willow and the kids and Aurora. So I was just shocked that Tracy didn't want it, at least temporarily. Why wouldn't she take the CEO chair? Some tell me she up to something. More than just that damn deceptive. So is she up to something? I want to know what it is. Like, I, like, love the fact that they brought Jane Elliott back for a longer stint. I love it. Um, because Tracy is a breath of fresh air for me. Like, she is funny as hell. Did she really try to call Lucy a floozy? When she said flu, loose, flu, uh, what she call her? Floozy or something like that? And I was like, are you trying to call that woman a floozy? I love Tracy. Um, she definitely got a plan in play. And I feel like Martin is definitely a part of that. And I know good and well Edward is rolling over in his grave that a non-family member is running his company. Especially Kentucky Fry. Like, that man is running his company. And how the hell does Tracy get to pick the CEO or the acting CEO? Tracy's not even on the board. She's not even a voting stockholder in the company. So how does she get to decide all this? Like, where the other stockholders at? She just gets the name of acting CEO? Without so much as mentioning this to the other stockholders. No shareholder meeting. No nothing. <laughs> like that's just funny. I said Tracy ain't playing. She said listen I'm large and in charge. I'm here. I'm making choices. I'm making decisions. Y'all gonna live with it. 
And I love the way she laughed when he tried to insinuate that she tried to challenge him for a romantic little liaison between them. Tracy laughed her ass off, and I and I agree with her. Like, sir, she's talking from a business standpoint. She's not trying to get with your ass. Tracy don't want you, sir. Don't flatter yourself. The queen does not interest you. Like, she does not see interest. Calm down. Like, he really thought Tracy wanted him in a sexual manner. Sir, the only person that wants you is Lucy and them ex-wives who want they check every month. <laughs> They're the only people that want you. <laughs> he better calm down with that nonsense. Um, BLQ and Tracy got to be careful, though, about meeting in public and whatnot. Because now Sasha done seen um, Tracy handing her that flash drive. I was like, damn, it's about to go down. Because I wonder if Sasha going to tell the rest of her team about this. It was so fun watching... Um, Maxie and Lucy go back and forth because Maxie was giving it to Lucy and I loved it because Maxie was like shit I'm the one holding the company down right now you run around living your best life with Martin while I'm picking up the slack and you supposed to be the damn CEO I was here for Maxie doing it because you know what that's one thing about Maxie when she works for a company she's the one working her ass off picking up the slack because remember she did that at Crimson when Nina was running around in Nixon Falls running around with Sonny pretending he was somebody else Maxie was the one holding down the company. And then when Maxie demanded a raise, they try to play her. Like Jackson, I'm sitting there telling her no. You know what I mean? Maxie deserved way better than what she get at these companies. I'm just saying. Because she definitely been picking up the slack for Lucy. Like her being out of town and stuff, doing that crap with Anna and Valentine. And now you run around sexing up Martin every five minutes. And Maxie's the one stuck at the office. Even on the 4th of July, she was stuck at the office. I'm like, Maxie deserved better. Um, but them bickering back and forth for Solaris because Lucy should know Maxie better than that. But you know, what clicked for me was they both were wondering how the hell BLQ got rehired. And Maxie was like, oh, that doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Because I would think there's only two people at Deception or maybe three who could decide who's hired and who's not. So how did she get hired without either one of y'all knowing this or approving it? Wouldn't she have to sign documentation? Like, employment papers, tax papers, when she have to do all that again? You know what I'm saying? So, none of y'all knew about that and y'all just brushing it off or whatever? No, y'all should be suspicious. <laughs> like, you should definitely be suspicious. But I like how BLQ handled that situation, though, without, you know, giving up what's really going on. Like, her just wanting to know what's going on with the company that she worked for. I was like, that was a smart cover. That was a smart cover up. Even though Lucy, you know chewed her ass out about downloading company files and whatnot um but i definitely agree with blq martin definitely needs to be careful of tracy because tracy has an agenda because tracy loves elq and i can't see her just wanting martin to take over even in an acting capacity i just i that was a shock to me so i definitely wouldn't trust her she up to something um and I'm glad that Lucy, you know, even though Felicia tried to warn her about looking more into Martin's transactions and stuff from Pine Valley. I love that Lucy said, you know what? I need to know what this mother up to. And I agree with her because Lucy been burned before. You know, she been played by men before. You know what I'm saying? It's like she done been around around the block, you know, and if something ain't right with a relationship, she got to check it out. I don't blame her. That's her instincts, you know. You got to look into that because Martin been acting real shady lately. Now you're getting $50,000 deposits from Pine Valley and his ass ain't even got a law license in Pennsylvania. So why are you getting these high ass transactions for? Who's paying you this much? It can't be for legal fees. So what are you out there doing? I don't blame her for wanting to go because I'd be wanting to check it out too. What are you up to, sir? I really hope we get to see them in Pine Valley though. Even though I doubt it, but I would love to see some old school characters. I wonder what he up to, though. Like, this whole Tracy Martin Deceptor situation, it's intriguing to me. It really is. I'm here for it. Um, So, moving on from that. When Molly came up in that nail salon acting all bubbly and she had champagne and stuff. Oh, let's party. Let's do it. I was looking at her like, what the hell going on with you? Because you walking around and bopping around like you on that stuff. <laughs> I was looking at Alexis like, Alexis, you might need to have her committed to a rehab or something because she walking around all jipper and, you know, like she on that book of sugar. Like, what did you do? <laughs> yeah, like she was all happy and shit like you on that snow. Like, what's, what, like you, 
like you know you just did a line or something i'm like molly ma'am are you intoxicated are you are you high are you on that booger like what do you want sweetheart are you on that sugar what are you doing i would have had her ass committed in two seconds because you're a little too chipper for my taste you know don't get me wrong some people got that personality but molly is not always that bubbly like that and i'm like you did you do something before you came here did you take a percocet like what <laughs> what you do um i get where lex is coming from you know she didn't want christina or nobody pushing molly about that doctor stuff and whatnot but i agree with molly you know sometimes you want to take your mind off your troubles and just have some damn fun i do agree with her on that because sometimes we all go through troubles you know we all got our bad days and sometimes instead of dwelling on it we just want to say you know what we ain't gonna think about it today let's go out let's have a ball let's rock out i agree with molly on that because sometimes you know you just want to avoid your troubles you know at least for a night you know obviously she can't avoid this forever but at least give her one night to just not have to talk about it not have to talk about eggs and babies and all that mess you know what i'm saying give her her night i totally agree with her just go out rock out have a damn ball um but i do agree that i do feel like you shouldn't have alcohol you know champagne around your alcoholic mother i'm just, you know, i mean you know alexis has been handling it well but i'm just saying you know it's not in good taste you can at least brought some apple cider uh you know something um so anyway moving on from that marshall need to leave curtis alone like him sitting there pushing him to go home and try to resolve things with portia talking about oh you not being home is not resolving things where okay even when they talk together it still ain't resolving nothing because they still got issues even when him and portia do try to figure out their issues it's still not resolving anything they still they're probably worse off than what they were before they started talking so i don't blame him for not wanting to go home right now and talk to her right now because i don't think it's gonna solve anything i think people just need to give curtis his space and let him and portia work this out how they see fit telling him what he should be doing is not gonna help him because even when they do that it doesn't help you know they gotta figure it out for themselves. um i feel bad for tj because he really want a baby but he feel like this whole situation with molly she might change her mind and might not even want one after that whole doctor's visit you know what i'm saying so i agree with curtis it's like what are you gonna do if she don't want one you know how is that gonna affect their relationship you know i understand tj you know feel like he's being pushed he being pushed aside or pushed out or whatever but i do agree with curtis i, f I feel like he need to give molly some time to process this because it is a lot to process to find out that you don't have any viable eggs and you may not be able to carry a baby you know what i'm saying that's a lot so i don't think he should push her because you see what happened when christina pushed her she ran the hell on up out of there you know what i mean like i feel like he just need to give it a few days a week or so just let it die down let her just get her wits about her but i totally understand why he worried about her because she passing off big cases she calling out of work like i'll be nervous too like girl don't don't lose your job now we still got this rent to pay <laughs> i understand you going through some things but we we got bills now honey don't don't be just you know hopefully when you took that sick day you had some sick leave you know so you can still get paid for the day i'm just saying these bills don't stop now they get high as hell too you, mm -mm, we need this coin i'm just saying you know you can have your moment in your day but let that be a day at least a paid day i'm just <laughs> i'm just saying anyway that was pretty much the whole episode hit the conversation let me know what you all thought and i will see you all later peace